Let's bring in ABC's Patrick Riebel. He is in Odessa, Ukraine. Patrick, you covered Trevor Reed's case uh, for years, which finally ended with a prisoner swap. Griner's lawyers say this may be possible only after the court reaches a verdict. So how promising do you think this is? Give us a reality check. Yeah, you know, I think that's a really good question, Kira. As you say, I've been covering these cases for years. I mean, way back in 2018 when Paul Whelan was first arrested. And, you know, I think the key question that everyone is asking right now is why is the White House going public with this before a deal has happened? Because usually in these cases, and as in the case with Trevor Reed, we only learn that a deal had happened once the prisoner was already in the air and on the way home and had been freed. And I think really the reason why this is happening is because the U.S., as we know, has put this deal in front of the Russians weeks ago, and it seems that the Russians aren't biting on it. And so the question, you know, I think what's trying to happen here is that the White House are hoping they can push Russia by going public into maybe agreeing to this, but also trying to show to the American public that they are doing something. And so can the U.S. really pressure Russia, Russia in a prisoner swap like this? Yeah, you know, I think it's very difficult, actually, for the U.S. to pressure Russia in this case, because, firstly, you know, the Russians have two Americans, and they don't seem to actually care that much about Victor Boot, even though they've been pressing for years to try and release him. He's been in prison for a very long time. You know, whatever value he had to them has certainly really more or less been exhausted. And I think right now he's more of a sort of propaganda win, and that gives the Russians quite a lot of leverage. The second thing is that they know that the White House right now is under quite a lot of pressure over Brittany Griner, and I think they're thinking perhaps we can try and push for more. So I think the Russians might well be asking for another, another Russian to be released. They want two for two. And I think they will also be trying to get a sweetener in terms of removing sanctions, or at least some sanctions, related to Ukraine. I think that's extremely difficult. I don't think the White House will be going for that. And so I think, really, it's not that we're going to see a release imminently. So if Russia says no to this proposal, what would that do to the future chances of bringing Brittany Griner and also Paul Whelan back home? I think it will not, I think a no now doesn't mean that a deal won't happen in the future. I mean, if we look at what happened with Trevor Reed, it happened very quickly and it happened at a very unexpected moment. It happened, you know, just weeks really into Russia's war with Ukraine when relations are obviously at a pretty catastrophic low with the US, but still they were able to come to a deal and very rapidly where they had a one for one deal where one Russian held in the US was released for Trevor Reed. So I think, you know, even if there's a no now, the negotiations will go on. And what I think is really positive for the families at least is that the US clearly has decided that it's prepared to make a major deal, is prepared to trade Victor Boot. And so now the next thing to happen is for the Russians to agree to it. All right, we will see. We'll follow it. Patrick Riebel in Ukraine there for us. Patrick, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.